Since there are millions of people starting to question the shape of the earth and how it moves, it's important that we go over all of the things that would have to be possible or seen throughout history for them to be right. For example, if they were right and the earth had this firmament above it, like they say it does, there would be some sort of treaty preventing us from going far enough to explore and determine if they are correct. And the world leaders would make sure that they kept this treaty in place throughout every war, every conflict, and they would do so peacefully. They would then go on to spend countless billions of dollars on showing us proofs that the earth is a globe and they would do so deceitfully and find ways to make these images become part of our pop culture. They would also create a design of creation that has the words of these false god names that the Bible tells us not to mention. There would be centuries upon centuries of artifacts that reveal who they all worship and pay tribute to. There would also be prophecies of this upcoming deception, a warning of how our thoughts would err concerning what's above us. The Bible itself would even tell us that earth is fixed and immovable, that it's stationary, that it has foundations. And if they were correct, everyday people would go out and do experiments that prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that water doesn't curve. And they would repeat these observations time and time again. And if they were correct, the space agencies would have to make fake pictures of Earth because they wouldn't be able to go high enough to take an actual photo of what we live on. Their own animators would have to admit that the Earth was photoshopped because it has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's, it's, has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's, it's, has to be. It just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, it looks kind of flat. There's artistry to creating the world. These same space agencies would also be caught many times using technology that is designed to deceive us into believing they are somewhere that they aren't.
If this model was made up by the enemy, it would bear the mark of the enemy. And his number is 600, three score and six six. And if there was some sort of firmament above us, scientists would have detected it and there would be a cover story made up about what it is. They would probably tell us something crazy like there's a man-made bubble surrounding Earth. We would also have footage of this barrier along with documents that tell us that it exists. They're checking out the firmament in this one, 1953 now. In the investigations, two instruments designed by V.G. Fezenkov were used. One of these was a visual photometer of the daytime sky intended for measuring the brightness of the firmament and derived, get this now, on the assumption of a flat earth. So the Russians are trying to check out the firmament based on assumptions of a flat earth in 1957? And if our world leaders were as evil as they say they are, they might have even tried to blow it up at some point in time. And if Earth wasn't flying through space at hundreds of times faster than the speed of sound, there would be a star in the sky that is stationary and has been throughout history. And if Earth were the stationary center of existence, that would mean there's a loving Father above us. And that for thousands of years, those who have tried to spread truth about Him would have been persecuted. The words that were written in books about Him would be banned in many places. People would be burned for trying to write these books in their own languages. And most importantly, if they were correct, the short-term pleasures of this world and the distractions that leave us feeling empty could be replaced with joy unspeakable that is found in one truth the truth that sets you free, that is more important than what we live on, but has been hidden in a very crafty way by the evil ones that run this place. And I ask that all of you look up for a change and find that truth and that grace that we do not deserve that is beyond measure and understanding. Because after all, if they are correct, and they are, then you are a beloved creation of the Most High, and it's time to give him a chance. Thank you.